Continuing with subtraction in year two, once the children have mastered the two digit, take away the two digit using the equipment, they will then go on to just writing it or drawing it in their books. Once that is secure in their knowledge, then we move on to needing to exchange or cross the tens. So let me talk you through this. So we're still starting with 36. So we have one, two, three tens for our 30 and six ones. So we have our 36. And they always need to start with the ones column first. So looking at this, we need to take away 18. And if the children have got the equipment, then they can see that they've only got, they've only got six, so they can't take the eight away. So they need to borrow. So they need to exchange and borrow one ten. So they physically move the ten into the ones. It is still in the form of a 10. So to make it easier for them, they exchange. So they take away the 110 and add the 10 ones. This now means that they can physically take away the 8. So that's 2, 4, 6, 8. So they've moved the 8 ones away. And now they still need to take away the 110 which leaves them with 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So once the children have solved it in a linear form, we can then move on to writing it as a column subtraction. So we have our three tens in the tens column and our six ones, taking away or subtracting the one ten and the eight ones. And again, they can still use the equipment to help them at the beginning stages. So they can put their three tens and their six ones and then still try and take away like we did earlier on in the video. And it will just keeping them in the columns helps the children to remember their place value. So carrying on, it's still a case of exchanging or borrowing, swapping them over taking them away, taking those ones away, putting these ones down into the equals, taking away the 110 into the equals. <laughs>